Beautiful exotic birds are coming to Mobile. The South Alabama Cage Bird Society is hosting its annual bird fair with exotic birds, products, and lots of other cool stuff going on this morning. There you see Phoenix. We have Susan Lindsay and Frick and Frack along with us this morning. You brought some really cool birds for us to look at today. Let's start with Frick and Frack here. They are just beautiful, but they're not turning around for the camera. Yeah, they're they're kind of shy. They're, these two are breeders. They are um, green naped lorikeets, which are um, a subspecies of a rainbow lorikeet. Um, they are from Australia. And the thing that really kind of sets them apart from everybody else is they drink nectar. Okay. They don't eat seed. Mm -hmm. um, you can have them on a pelleted diet, which they, they are half pelleted and half nectar. Well, they are just beautiful. So they, you said they're from Australia. So how did we get them here? Um, is that a long story? There were, well, th these, of course, were bred here. Mm -hmm. But um, um, a lot of exotic birds were brought from different... Phoenix himself is from um, originally from South America. Yeah, let's talk more about Phoenix and get a <laughs> shot of this magnificent bird, the bright blue with the beautiful yellow. Wow, just incredible to look at. Tell us about Phoenix. Phoenix is 15 years old. He is one, what they call one of the largest macaws. He is, they call him the gentle giant. <laughs> um, he, is, he is a ham and we love him. He's our unofficial club mascot. And um, he has his good days and bad days, just like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> and what is Phoenix eating over there? We got some food for him. We have, um, Phoenix is actually eating macadamia nuts. Okay, so that's what Phoenix likes to eat. Now, you mentioned 15 years old. When you think of having uh, pets and dogs and things like that, that's usually 7 to 15 years. So this is pretty old. How long does a bird like Phoenix live? Phoenix can live from between 60 and 80 years old. Wow. Almost a, pretty much a human lifespan there. So Phoenix will hopefully be here with us for a long time. And Phoenix is fantastic. I love watching Phoenix move around here. Now tell us about this exotic bird fair coming up July 27th and 28th. Well, our bird fair, um, we, all the funds that we get for our bird fair goes to Avian Research. And that's really why we do it. Mm -hmm. um, we support um, LSU's Avian Research Fund and Dr. Tully, mm -hmm. and um, they've done some amazing things. They've um, come up with some um, cures for a lot of diseases that birds have that the normal vet doesn't treat or doesn't, you know. That is really neat. That's fantastic. And we have the information about the event on the screen. For the folks who are coming, in addition to supporting that research, what are they going to see if they come on out? Will Phoenix be there? What, what else can they, can they well, see? Well, Phoenix, we don't bring our own birds, but there okay. are vendors there who are selling birds. So okay. you will see lots of birds. You'll see cockatoos. You'll see macaws. You'll see cockatiels. You'll see finches from the smallest to the biggest well with the exception of phoenix of course so you have the chance to pick up one of these exotic birds as a pet and learn more about them as well yes that is fantastic so it is not this weekend but next weekend saturday july 27th and 28th at the abba shrine center on hit road in westmobile there is all the information we also have a lot of information posted on our website studio 10 tab at fox 10 tv.com but how cool was this today to bring in phoenix and frick and frack here all so colorful and wonderful. Thank you for bringing them in for us. Well, thank you. We enjoyed it, and we enjoyed you having us. All right. Bye, Phoenix. Now time to talk to Cherish. Cherish, I know you're a big fan of